Uh, a topic that, me, uh, that is important to cover is how to make a coax uh, cable. A, a cable that an important topic to cover is how to make a, a satellite cable uh, that has a coax connector on one end and an F-type connector on the other end. In terms of tools to complete this task, what we need is a sharp pair of snips. And in terms of equipment, we need three different things. We need an F-type connector. We need a coax connector and we need either a length or a roll of the um, satellite cable. The first step is to use a snips, pair down uh, the satellite cable so we can insert the satellite connector onto it. So that we do this by making a total of three to four snip cuts on the outside and um, cutting through the black outer core of the cable, about 20 millimeters from the end of the cable. We pull the uh, copper earth wires out of the way and then we come along and we uh, get a, um, a set of snips and we remove uh, the earth um, silver uh, foil. Um, now we continue to wrap the, the, the earth wire uh, in a clockwise manner around the cable. We take the snips again about six to seven millimeters from the uh, outer cables um, that have been wrapped around the, 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 the RG6 satellite cable. Uh, we cut the excess uh, foam off to expose the central core wire. And now at this stage we check that there's no earth wires that are touching the central core wires. We can see that because there's no wires on the central foam. We pick up our F connector and we show it and then twist it in a clockwise manner onto the cable. So it, so it gets a good grip on the cable and the central F the central foam is level with the base of the f -type connector. Next we take um, a set of snips and we cut off uh, the excess amount of, co uh, of cable, a uh, central core cable, about 2 millimeters above the top of the f -type connector. So this is the f connector fully assembled. Normally now we would cut the cable to the length that we require. In this case I cut quite a long cable here, about 1.4 uh, meters long. And I repeat the process of pairing down the cable uh, on this end of the cable. Um, the dimensions are roughly the same again in terms of about 20 millimeters from the end. Uh, we move the outer cable and uh, then we pull down the excess um, um, copper braiding on the outside. With my hand I've been able to pull off the excess foil there and um, now I come along and with my snips I make an incision in the white foam about six to seven millimeters from the end of the cable, twist it, and I remove that excess thing. The, the central um, uh, core wire has now been exposed, and I can see that no earth wire is touching the central um, section. What I do now is I put this uh, connector onto the end of the cable, <coughs> I pull out the central foam and a central um, <coughs> clamping mechanism, I slide it over. Um, <clears throat> the copper braid, and now there's two sections held within this um, length of cable, or in the top section, there's the central piece and there's the, also the outer housing. Um, I carefully insert the core wire through the center piece of this, uh, twist, and the locking mechanism or the, the housing into position, and use my snips here to snip off. Um, the excess cable that uh, protrudes from the top of the, um, uh, the, the, the coax connector. Now I have a fully assembled um, cable with an F type connector on one end and a coax cable on the other end. And a cable like this can be useful for um, extending a cable that has an F type connector currently on it uh, and needs a coax connector, such as going from um, a splitter say an F-type splitter um, or an F-type power unit into the back of a television to feed a terrestrial uh, television signals into that television.